Hello, hackers. Welcome to Pwn College. I'm Jan, and today we're going to talk about what to do when you don't know what to do. Basically, how to understand the challenge, how to start uh, looking around and, 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 and trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Oh, oops. Here we go. All right. We got our terminal open. I uh, This is just a random uh, Pwn College uh, challenge I started, but that's okay. Uh, the key thing is I want us to figure out how to get this to tell us that we've been good and we got the right answer. So, hit answer, says wrong. Hit question mark, says wrong. What does it want me to do? HDF says wrong. At this point, a typical um, phone college uh, novice hacker will say, oh crap, I have no idea what to do. I don't know what this challenge is asking me. Let's go and ask in the Discord. What am I supposed to do? But before we do that, why don't we start out just by reading the challenge? If we cut out example.py or for any challenge in Pwn College, go to slash challenge and look around and start catting stuff out and reading scripts and so forth. So if we actually, let me change this so that it doesn't, uh, there we go. Um, it doesn't distract us with an or wrong name. If we cat out example.py that we're trying to crack, we see right away what it does. We read it, we say, oh, no problem. All it needs is something to be equal to yo, and that something needs to be the result of the input command. Okay, now in Python, how can we figure out what's the input command? Well, one thing we can do is just Python input the input function, not the input command, I apologize. Input function, there's some random thing here that says, oh, the input function allows user input. Okay, awesome. So let's, uh, ideally we'd read something more official. Here's the actual Python docs with the built-ins and where is input, here's input. Written the function then reads a line from input, converts it to a string, and returns that. Sweet. So basically, that means if we type yo, this should come out here, and we're good to go. All right. Awesome. So this is scenario number one. We run the program. We don't know what to do because we haven't looked at it. We don't panic. We don't start trying random stuff. We don't start brute forcing every potential thing that we, we could do. We look at what the program wants from us. We figure that out. We look up critical functions that we don't understand and we go from there. Awesome. Now, what if we have a slightly trickier example? Example two, we say, yo, now it says wrong. Okay, let's, uh, let, let, let's look at it. Example two, whoa. Example two does something crazy. What the hell is this? All right, so it takes our input as before, and then it calls this obfuscated reverse on yo. And we can look and stare at this, and we can imagine, of course, you know, that, that this is arbitrary, complex, difficult to understand code. And we're staring at it but there is a semantic anchor that can give us the shortcut to not even need to worry about what the hell this is doing. And we don't have to panic. We read obfuscated reverse. We say, oh, one possibility is that this is a reverse, a string reversal that's been heavily obfuscated to be hard to understand. And that's what they mean by obfuscated reverse. And costs us very little to test this hypothesis. If it is truly an obfuscated reverse, and of course, yo doesn't work, will oi work? If it's an obfuscated reverse of yo, we hit enter, correct, and it works, and we won again, without having to understand what the hell this is, okay? Most complex scenario, example three. Right, of course, we've seen this before, but pretend we didn't. Say now, instead of 
some semantically meaningful function. It's some garbage. And this is some garbage. And now we're really upset because like, what's going on? We have to understand all of this. I have to go, how uh, this might be actually be kind of hard to Google this because Googling it is not going to Google does fairly badly with special characters. Uh, I mean, it found it. Um, but something like this, you know, if you have questions about Python syntax, Sensei and ChatGPT are actually very, very, very good at it. Right? This is something that you can ask. Um, and they are good with special characters. Um, okay. This ha ha ha. What the heck is ha ha ha, right? We don't want to ask GPT. Maybe this is extremely complicated, et cetera. Well, there's something interesting going on here. We take input, uh, the program takes our input and then compares it against something that is hard coded and then has a function executed on it that just kind of seems like it just does stuff to the data. So if it can do stuff to the data, why can't we do stuff to the data? Keep in mind, as you're reverse engineering, complex security challenges with complex ways of communication, complex uh, encoding of data, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You see the source code, you can also use and modify the source code. So let's copy it over. Let's open it up. And here, let's say, forget our input. Let's print the expected value. This is what our input was compared against. So we can pipe and ha ha. Yeah. And it solves it for us. And in this case, we pipe it right into example three and it's correct. So what did we do there? We opened up a kind of complex quote unquote program. We ripped out parts of it that suited us and we ran it. And we can do the same without ripping stuff out verbatim or ripping stuff out so thoroughly. So let's say, let's make another copy of it. So here we can modify that. With, uh, this is now me as the hacker modifying it, right? With, by adding logging. Correct colon and the correct input hours. Let's say hours and theirs. And this is, see, this is me as the hacker making modifications to the simple Python file. So I don't have to think too hard about what the heck this is. Because if I reduce the amount of time I spend trying to understand random shitty code and instead solving the challenge, that's great. So let's write, ha ha. Okay, I made a syntax error. I have an errant colon there. Aha, type ASDF, and you just say, hey, ours is ASDF, theirs is OI. Now I know, OI. Cool. So, code reuse of the code in the challenges and messing with it in different ways is actually a very, very useful skill in this uh, style of cybersecurity analysis. You'll be analyzing a lot of software, not just in this module, but beyond, that was written to have specific bugs, to talk in specific ways, and you can kind of use this software and turn it against itself. Good luck.